Hello everybody, it is Animical with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a, not really TV show, but just a show, a Netflix original, BoJack Horseman. And to start things off, I really enjoyed it. I thought the voice acting was nice, like, each character felt like that would be their voice. And Will Arnett as BoJack Horseman, like, you can kind of feel the Lego Batman from him, but it's kind of a different pitch, but you can you can tell that it, it he has the same mannerisms. I'm not sure if that's the same word that they would use for, like, voices. And I can't remember his name. I think it was, like, Pinky Penguin. Uh, he sounded like the golf ball from the Gravity Falls episode. Also, Remy from Ratatouille. And I did, I did look it up, and that is the voice actor. I'm interested to see where the story goes, like, if it's going to be an entire thing about him overcoming his, like, depression, or if that's just how his character is going to be, and he just is, like, going to live life and show how he copes with it. If, like, the entire series is about the book, or, like, just the season, or if that's more of, like, a few episode plot line, and they'll get into more later on. It's obvious that they'll get into more, but I just am talking about, like, how fast they get past this arc. I know there are two seasons right now, and I have no idea if there are any more planned. I don't really want to know, just because I don't want to know just in case of spoilers the mature rating it didn't feel like they pushed it too far you know it feels like that's how they would act in those types of situations the ma rating it felt like it suited the characters and so good on them for actually making it ma i thought that the fact that bojack basically idolizes his past self was funny and my my favorite joke in the episode was after he went to the hospital and it cuts to him dying in the show and then he like looks at one of his friends and says yeah we went a little bit dark for that series finale and a runner up for the joke is um the dog i can't remember his name is like peanut butter mr peanut butter or something like that um what is this a crossover episode originally i didn't think it was funny but then he did it multiple times and every time i just more funny each time. The one main complaint that I had with this episode is that the backgrounds felt a little bit lacking, especially the ending cut, like the house, like when it was zooming out of the house, it felt like that was a little bland compared, especially compared to like the super detailed characters and the well animated characters. And speaking of which, the character animations felt really smooth and the mouth animations were a pleasure to watch. Like whenever I'm watching anything animated, the mouth is always like, that tends to be what I go to just because it moves around the most and it's if it syncs up with the audio, it's very satisfying to watch. But if it doesn't, then it could be, like, a deal-breaker for this show. This show, the map animations were very good, especially Bojack. He's a horse. It's a very different mouth that you're watching and animating. So the fact that they were able to pull it off, good job. Good job for the animators. And I did enjoy the mix of human and animal characters. Very interested to see where this story goes. I'll be continuing to watch it. And goodbye, everybody. Have you guys seen BoJack Horseman? And if you have, tell me what you think of it. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, and thank you all for watching.